trying to demonstrate that by mimicking the magnetic field of a planet and rotating this device, we could actually create a dynamo that would work. And in fact, it did work, and it does work. So when we contemplate nature, when we contemplate Jupiter, or we contemplate a dynamo like the Earth rotating in space, we're basically talking about a magnet which is rotating in space. And the lines of flux of the magnet are pouring down and through in this toroidal pattern of the magnetic field. It's also expanding, contracting. It's breathing. It's taking in the energy of space, literally, and transforming it. Right here in this toroid, we have enough energy to transform the entire Earth. Invention of Adam Trombley called the Taurus Dynamo. Adam believed he found a way to tap unlimited free electricity from nature using special magnetic fields. Settle in as we cover this controversial device and its implications. Adam Trombley was fascinated by physics from a young age. In particular, he pondered Nikola Tesla's theories of wireless energy and discoveries around magnetic fields. In the 1990s, he began experimenting with intricate magnet designs, inspired by the torus geometric shape. Adam noted how electric and magnetic fields interacted in this configuration. To his shock, one prototype began generating measurable voltages from nowhere he could see. Adam spent years refining his magnetic contraption, which he dubbed the torus dynamo. Its central component was a ring of neodymium magnetic modules arranged in a symmetrical closed loop pattern. When powered up, free electrons seemed to flow among the magnets, generating alternating currents that could power LEDs and small devices. But traditional theory said magnets alone couldn't produce electricity, so how was it working? Adam came to believe that by establishing specific magnetic field harmonics using the torus shape, his device was tapping ambient free energy from the quantum vacuum. According to some interpretations of quantum mechanics, this seething sea of energies interacts with matter in microscopic ways. Adam speculated that under the right conditions like in his dynamo, these energies could be extracted and transferred to conventional forms of usable electricity. Adam published a scientific paper in 2000 and two outlining his theories and experiments so far. While providing construction details, he cautioned further R&D was still needed. Some experts were intrigued by possible connections to quantum field theory. Adam began seeking partners to further analyze his device and potentially develop it into commercial power sources. A small electronics company called Stirn expressed interest in Adam's idea and provided him lab space. Over the following years, they worked extensively analyzing different dynamo designs and component materials. Readings using advanced equipment detected unconventional field behaviors and electron flows within the magnet arrays that seemed to support Adam's theories. Excited claims emerged that power yields could eventually surpass what conventional generators produce from fossil fuels. Word of Adam's Taurus Dynamo invention spread rapidly online. More parties contacted him wanting to study the device's apparent free energy phenomenon. But some remained highly skeptical, no laws of physics were violated. An online movement grew encouraging independent replications hoping to substantiate extraordinary claims. While several succeeded generating weak voltages, most saw effects too tiny to practically exploit or explain through accepted frameworks. Despite promising early work, larger commercializing efforts with Storm stalled over ensuing years. Deadlines for developing prototype generators slipped as technical challenges arose. Some speculated the complex magnetic field dynamics proved tougher controlling than first predicted. Critics accused Stone of overhyping results while delivering little tangible progress, jeopardizing Adam's credibility through association. Relations eventually soured, and legal battles erupted over patents and funding terms. As skepticism rose from missed targets, 
Some accused Adam and Stirn of deliberate deception for profit or attention. Both maintained setbacks were normal in high-risk frontier science, insisting breakthroughs were close pending more study. When criticized for secrecy, they explained most findings were confidential to avoid competitors stealing IP. This did little to appease those demanding open independent review of extraordinary claims about a supposed new energy source. With Steon support gone, Adam fell into obscurity over subsequent years. Periodically, he resurfaced online sharing updates, suggesting modifications allowing dynamos to tap environments more efficiently. But then in 2020, a major development reignited interest. Rumors emerged of Adam's mysterious death confession. He reportedly admitted the dynamo's true mechanism, a clever trick involving nanoscale semiconductors that briefly masqueraded as a genuine quantum vacuum energy device. While disappointing, it shed light on the long debated mystery. Spurred by Adam's revelation, a new generation of amateur scientists began carefully analyzing his theory papers and construction methods. Though many remained uncertain about his specific claims, they saw potential value in scientifically studying unusual magnetic phenomena, especially involving new materials. A few replication groups emerged, committed to open documentation of attempts to experimentally vet Adam's work. One such team is the Quantum Energy Research Organization, QERO. Led by physicist Dr. Maya Sono, they obtained several of Adam's original dynamo prototypes. Using precision measurement tools, unavailable in his time, QERO detected reproducible magnetic anomalies hinting at underlying quantum behaviors that warrant controlled investigation. Though outputs were minuscule, the findings rekindled possibilities if further unraveled. QBERO shares all data publicly to accelerate understanding. Unlike preceding ventures, profit is secondary to collaborative scientific progress. By approaching frontiers of energy and magnetism with patience, openness, and multidisciplinary perspectives, Dr. Sonnell hopes emerging subtle insights may one day inform practical applications. If discoveries by visionaries like Adam and Tesla hold even flecks of truth worth developing. Through Tuiero's meticulous analysis of Adam Trombley's work and ongoing open source discussions, interest in magnetic anomalies and quantum vacuum energy concepts grew among a new scientific generation. Once dismissed ideas receive fresh consideration as technologies advance. While ambitions of limitless free energy remain distant, stepping stones toward clean and sustainable resources motivate continued open-minded yet evidence-based exploration.